one shall chase a thousand and two shall chase ten thousand. Two people laying together would provide warmth for themselves better than one person alone. God wants relationship, but before we get engaged and involved in any relationship, certain steps and conditions must be met. God gives signs and signal to usher you into the next phase and level in your life. Some people do not feel like marriage is meant for them. They believe that not everybody must be married and would wait for sign to know whether they would be married one day. Five signs you would be married one day. God keeps increasing the task he wants you to do. When God sees your heart and how dedicated you are to him, you win his trust and most times he would entrust you with a bigger and much higher and demanding task. God knows that the task would be difficult for you alone to handle and most times when he would give you a higher and much demanding task, he would create the avenue for you to also get married. One sign to know you would be married one day is to observe if God has found you worthy and is entrusting you with bigger and much demanding tasks. You would not be able to do it alone. God saw how faithful Adam was with the task he had given him and he was moved to find a mate and helper for him in continuing with the assignment that God has given him. When David defeated Goliath and was to serve as an assistant to the king, wife was provided for him because for the bigger task, he needs to be married to have someone he can talk and share heart with. If you want to know whether you are right and ready for marriage, check if the task that God has given you has been done and if he has given you another. If he gives you another, he will also connect you to the right one that will assist you with that assignment. But when you have not finished the first task he gave you, what do you need a helpmate or a helper for? Take time to identify your task in God and through this, you would know whether you would be married one day to a person that God would bring your way. When you have been found faithful, you would know you would be married one day for the higher task that God is giving you. God would ensure you get assigned and connected to someone that would help you in serving and fulfilling the mandate. You find interest in raising people. One of the sole purposes and aim of marriage is to raise godly seed that would continue to increase God's kingdom because God will not come down to multiply men and women again on earth. He has done that and has tied it into a system which can be assessed through the union of a man and woman. When God has deposited a lot in you and you are always happy to teach, show and raise other people on how to live and do things better, this is a sign that you would one day be married and would also raise godly children. Your love for younger ones to grow and be raised would culminate into you raising someone like you also that would continue with the good work you're doing. God loves continuity. God loves when we are capable to replicate the good works he is doing through us. God's kingdom must continue to exist and because of this, you would one day be married. If your parents had not come together in marriage and given you birth, you would not be in existence. Therefore, you would also be married and would raise godly children that would be a blessing to the world. The next generation will be blessed only if you raise your children in the ways of the Lord. Abraham knew that there must be a continuity after himself and his son Isaac, and he made sure that a wife from his tribe was selected for Isaac. When Isaac was releasing Jacob, he made his promise that he would go back to his people to get a wife for godly children to be raised, not from the women that lived around him. There must be continuity. Christians must get married to raise people that would keep worshipping God here on earth. You would be married one day. You would get it right one day. The person that is yours would come your way and it would be a union that would raise godly offspring to the goodness and faithfulness of God. If you have love for God, you would know that the survival of human race is dependent on us getting married. And if you are a lover of God, you would get married one day and be part of those ensuring that mankind and the Christian race continues. God desires you as an example in all things. Another sign that you would be married one day is that God has seen you as a tool and vessel he can use to teach the world the godly way to be married. For everything God does, 
Satan would want to create a counterfeit. And because of this, God would use you as a mirror that the world would see and through that know the godly way of getting married. You are part of the people God wants to use to portray what he needs from mankind. You are his model for the people on earth. And because of this, you would one day be married and the world would see what he wants for godly home through you. Marriage is faced with attacks from the enemy. People wanting to break up, not willing to continue again, challenge of relating, bearing children and so many other challenges. But you who is a follower of God would show the world how to live and not get discouraged or frustrated because of the problems that marriages present to us. Abraham and Sarah showed us how to live together in marriage even when no child is forthcoming. Deborah and Lepidoth showed us how to live as couples even when the woman occupies a high position. Esther's marriage showed us how to live with someone who's a ruler or a great man of authority. Isaac and Rebecca showed us what it meant to be married and have twins and how to manage love crisis for children and so many other examples in the Bible. You are also going to be an example to your generation and because of that, you would be married and make it happen. You would be married and people would see your home as a model and sample to build their own home. Responsibility One of the signs that you would be married one day is a proof that you would be tasked with the responsibility of handling, managing and controlling your own household. You must prove yourself faithful to God to find you faithful and worthy. You cannot go into settling, mentoring or training people about marriage, godly children, faithfulness in marriage when you are not married and have track record. This responsibility is a sign that you would be married one day to exercise this responsibility. God showed love by allowing his son to come die for our sins that we may be saved. He showed us what love is and how to love. You cannot be fit for some role and responsibility that God wants to assign you without being married. For this purpose, God will make everything possible for you to get married and carry out his mandate. When God called Moses out of Egypt, he had to make sure Moses got married to be able to be a good leader to his people. You would also need to be married for God to entrust you with some level of responsibility. So, when God calls you for certain roles, he makes provision and makes it possible that you get married. To last well and bring better result. In the parable of the kingdom, when the master was traveling and shared talents to his servant, the one given one talent could not do anything valuable with it, but the others traded well with their talent and had results. To be able to bring certain results that God requires of you, you have to be married. God is interested in you getting married. He has designed you and has designed someone out there specifically for you. You have to be married to fulfill this purpose and for the kingdom. We are also God's bride, looking forward to the marriage ceremony to our groom. You would be married someday to keep the good work of God and to fulfill his mandate of being fruitful and multiply and dominate the earth.